Welcome to this, the first part of the Divided Union walkthrough, where I'll be taking you through each question in the uh, Divided Union paper. Remember, this, this question paper is not about content, it's not about knowledge, it's about knowing how to answer the questions and analyse the sources. To this end, the exam board do provide you with some background information which we, they give you in the exam. So let's have a look at this example. The first thing I want you to do is open your paper and look at the background information and re make sure you read this little paragraph. It will give you some vital context. So from the mid-1940s to the early 1950s, a growing fear of communism known as the Red Scare developed in the USA. Some historians believe this growing fear of communism was due mainly to the impact of the Rosenberg case. Some believe it was due to other factors, such as the Cold War after 1945 and the influence of McCarthy in the USA. So here we have um, some background that even if we knew nothing about uh, what was going on, this at least provided us with some clues. Now the first question you'll always have is this six-mark question, which asks you to look at source A. So let's have a look at that right now. Six mark question. Study source A. What can you learn from source A about the Rosenbergs? So in your source booklet you'll have this source A. This is from Judge Irving Kaufman when sentencing the Rosenbergs to death in April 1951. And he says, your crime is worse than murder for you put the A-bomb into Russian hands. Years before our scientists predicted Russia would be able to perfect the bomb. So this has already, already caused, in my opinion, the communist aggression in Korea with casualties exceeding 50,000. Who knows? Millions more innocent people may pay the price of your treason. Indeed, by your betrayal, you undoubtedly have altered the course of history to the disadvantage of our country. The question is, what can you learn from Source A about the Rosenbergs? Now, what the mark scheme says that for the full marks, you need to be able to pick out two things that you can learn about the Rosenbergs from this case. So let's look at the first sentence. Your crime is worse than murder. What does this tell us? We can learn that the Rosenberg's crime was considered ser very serious. For example, it states that their crime was worse than murder. Now remember that's one sort of uh, point backed up with evidence and what we need to do uh, in order to get full marks on this question according to the mark scheme is be able to make another point. So it also says here that they are that this caused the communist aggression in Korea. We can also learn that the Rosenberg that the Rosenberg's crime caused the Cold War to get worse. For example, it states that it caused the communist aggression in Korea. So here we have two points backed up with evidence from the source about what we can learn. I didn't need anything of my own knowledge there. All I needed was a couple of things picked out from source A. Two things, full marks, six out of six, a good start to the paper.